Well, hello friends, Mark Holmes here, and as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, man, without you guys. Uh, don't forget to tune in tonight, 9 o'clock Eastern, for our live stream. Um, can't wait. It'll be my last live stream um, while I'm on the continental United States here. Monday night, we will be in Puerto Rico. We're going to try and see if we can live stream from there. I uh, don't know if it'll work or not, but we're certainly going to be trying what we can. Um, I'm sitting here thinking about our team. Jason Garrett's had his press conference and things today. Um, the team's back on the practice field getting ready for that trip to New York against those stinking Giants. And Antoine Woods seems a little miffed about, you know, being punished. You know, he said he gets it. He understands. He's like, I've been late once in four years and in, in the pros and once late in college. That's it. He's like, you know, maybe they could cut me some slack or something like that. But, you know, he said he gets it. Just seems a little upset. Um, but accepting responsibility for it. See, that, that's the thing that, that I like. I understand. It's not necessarily the crime. It's usually the cover-up or how you react afterwards that gets most people in trouble. Everybody out there makes mistakes. Lord knows I'd have made many mistakes. I've shown up late and things like that. But you have to take responsibility for your actions and understand there's repercussions to everything. So I'm glad to hear Antoine Woods basically, okay, you know what, I messed up. On the other hand, this is the one that I'm, I'm, I'm worried about more. You know, Tristan Hill, he's first-year player. He's real young. He's got that baby face and everything else. And maybe he just doesn't get it just yet. Because I haven't heard anything from him about, you know what, I messed up. I made a mistake. I'm going to do better. I haven't heard any of that. And that worries me. That worries me. I want to know that, hey, you're all in for the team. And this is where the Cowboys... <sighs> what happens when you have something like this is it goes back to things that you've done in your past. So now you have to start thinking about, okay, Tristan had problems in college with the coaching staff. He lost playing time because of different, of not getting along with the coaches. Now, you know, at some point in your life, you got to start looking at yourself and say, okay, you know, I, I know somebody who's forever, whenever they move, there's always a problem with the neighbors. It seems like every single time, you know, I got neighbors, man, they're just bad. You know, and it didn't matter what state it's, that he's in, you know, uh, it moves around every time. It always seems to be there's some problems with the neighbors. You know, are they just give me a hard way to go. And I, you know, and at some point, you got to start thinking, wait a minute. <coughs> Either I've got just some bad luck to constantly get the worst neighbors in the world everywhere I move, or maybe I'm part of the problem and I need to look inside somewhat and see what am I doing that's not getting the right, right result. And see, that's where Tristan Hill, you know, now all of a sudden you, you we heard about a draft time that Rod Marnelli had uh, this agreement with the players about wanting to, about, about doing the right thing, about putting full, forth effort and this, that, and the other that we found out about because of Tristan Hill. Because they said, hey, you know, after they drafted him, we know there was problems in college. We talked to the coaching staff. We talked to the player. He signed this agreement, and we heard, well, all of our, our linemen signed this. This is typical. But now, because you had him falling asleep with um, Isaiah Thomas coming in and speaking and things to the team last week. Then you have him late. That could cause some friction between you and the coaching staff because now the coach is going to be looking at you side eye. They're going to be checking the clock all the time. And so this is where you have to wonder, did something like this happen 
in college for him, which led to him losing playing time and being on the coaches in the coach's doghouse. Understand, we need him to become a player. You invested high draft pick on him, second round pick. And one of the things when you look at the 2016 season, why it was a success was we had young guys that made a difference on the team right away. Z, Dak, Anthony Brown, you know, uh, Malik Collins, that you had players that stepped up and elevated the team. And thus far, you can't say that we've gotten that impact now. Now, fortunately, we have a lot of good players from before that are there, but you need that push from these young guys to step it up to get you to that next level. I hope he gets it together, man. I, I really do. But it's got me worried. Whew. I got a lot to do. I got to get this hair cut because Lord knows I don't want to scare anybody um, later today. And I got to get packed to make sure I have all my gear and everything else and make sure I'm at the airport at the right time and make sure I got the right flight because you know I've done that before. Hope you guys are having a great Friday. See you tonight at 9 o'clock.